Well, my story is like a little bit weird because I didn't really play sports when I was younger. Like the most, like we had a basketball goal, but that was it. Like and my mum played tennis and my dad did fencing. So the two most random sports. And my dad loved basketball, so we, that's what we played all the time. And then in junior high, we had to pick two sports. So I was like, well, I know how to play basketball. And I guess I'll just play volleyball because that's the only other thing I know how to do. Tall, gangly, had zero like ball, eye, hand contact, like nothing was good. And I was growing really tall like at the time too. Like in between sixth and seventh grade, I grew 12 inches and then I grew another 12 between seventh and eighth. But I kind of screwed myself on recruiting because I had no idea what I was doing. I got letters from UT, I got letters from Washington, from Colorado, from Kansas, from all over, from Florida. Like I got ridiculous letters. So I made a decision right on the spot there at New Mexico and made a verbal agreement that yes, I want to come to New Mexico. I want to, you know, have my career. And it was, it was kind of just the per at the time, it was the perfect fit. Everyone tells me if you don't like high school, you'll like college. And I'm like, well, hopefully I'll really like the classes and I'll like the teachers and maybe the teaching style will be different and there'll be more things that have to do with like, because I have ADHD, that will help me. I think my first year I really did, I struggled a lot. Um, academically wise, emotionally wise, volleyball was not going well at all. And that's all I'd ever had. And so when you don't have volleyball and then you don't have a degree that you love, you kind of just lost. And that's literally what I was. I didn't, you know, for a good time, I didn't want to go to anything. I didn't want to go to classes. I didn't really want to go to practice because I wasn't doing well. I was starting to not love the sport anymore, which was killing me because I'm not one of those people who usually gets burnt out. I really just did not enjoy life in New Mexico at that point. I got on the plane and went to Radford and went around the campus and at first thought it was like gorgeous. I mean, it had flowers everywhere, everything smelled really good, everything was really green. As coming from New Mexico, everything's like dry and sandy. So it was like, oh, this is a complete change. When I found out they had an actual fashion design program and that it wasn't just some like class or some joke or, you know, some minor or something like that. Like it was something I could actually transfer into I was like, this is it. This is where I need to be. It's still division one. I still get to potentially play my position or play right side, which is what I wanted to play. And I get to transfer in and change my degree and go immediately into fashion and do whatever I've been wanting to do and hopefully everything will be better. Um, and so I came back and I was like, I'm gonna transfer. Next thing I know, I was, packing up all my stuff into my little itty bitty box car, <laughs> driving it back home to immediately just drive it up to Radford. And I think from then on, I was just at Radford. It's hard to put into words. Cause you know, we call her a coach. We call her mama bear. We call her our friend, you know, sometimes we call her our enemy, but most of the times she is the person that we rely on the most. Come on, great dig, Bert. Oh. So, um, Marcy Jenkins for me means support and love. Any of my teammates watch this, or if the coach watches this, and my family watches this, is just I guess I want to say thank you to everyone for being there for me and supporting me and putting up with all the ridiculous, crazy issues that I've had and never letting me think that I didn't have someone on my side. Because that's been a huge thing for me is, you know, not having someone at my side and then to have all these people is just amazing. <laughs>